Hello everyone, I'm Sandhya Sharma, a PhD student at Michigan State University. So I got, I received lots and lots of questions on how I got my PhD funded here in United States and I guess there's so many people wondering about the process and there are so many people who want to do uh, their graduate studies here in the United States so let's jump let's jump right into the video and the main content uh, the processes uh, the process that you need to go through to get your graduate studies here in USA so first uh, first thing for uh, there are major three steps the first would be uh, selecting a university so just list out the list of list out uh, your top 10 favorite universities here in the United States and go to the department list so as a forest student I would go to a forestry department a civil engineer would go to a civil engineering department so likewise you can just go to the department list and then the department has a list of faculties associated with the department so you can just go to the faculty list and then uh, go through the professor list and select a professor whose research interests highly resonates with that of yours and whose uh, research activities, skills, whose research experiences uh, uh, in, uh, in, are inclined to yours. Uh, you would want to get associated with their, their work. You would want to uh, learn from them. So yeah, you just go to the research prof professor list. You check their papers uh, and then you mail them. Uh, you mail the professor, let them know that you are interested in their work and you would want to work with them. Uh, and then there, there are highly, there are high chances that you won't be uh, hearing back from them. But please don't lose hope. That happens. Many of the professor don't have funds, or uh, there might be several regions that you are not receiving an email. But don't lose hope. You just uh, go on emailing professors to from different universities and then when you uh, receive a confirmation email from professor that's when you apply to the university once you receive an email confirmation from the professor that okay they are willing to take you as their graduate student uh, that means you are 90 95 percent sure that you'll get admission to that university so after that is when you apply to the university uh, you will need your art score your GRE if uh, that is applicable uh, then uh, you'll need to put across uh, application form and that's how you do it so the major three things are choose a university then uh, go to the department list then go to the professor list choose a professor email them and do your IELTS GRE and get good scores that's it do, I don't think one should uh, even think of coming for a PhD or graduate studies without a funding. Funding is must also for PhD. It's a long-term process. So if you are asking uh, your professor for uh, fundings, uh, do not hesitate to ask for uh, longer durations. Maybe you can just uh, negotiate on uh, the number of years they are going to fund you. So that's what I did. Uh, so I am fully funded for four years and hopefully I'll complete my PhD by then. Uh, also, please let me know if you have any other questions. Of course, I know there are so many things I need to cover, like uh, maybe uh, the kind of uh, interest letter, cover letters you would want to send to the professors, the email samples, or anything. Uh, do let me know in the comment section, and I'll get get you. I'll, I'll help you guys. I'll try my best to help you guys. A PhD life is really, really uh, busy, and uh, and yeah. So do let me know what you guys want me to cover.